ready to dance? Are you ready to dance? Are you ready? Are you ready? Sir? When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man.
them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Are you just watching like that? And the presence of God and His goodness and joy and live as you. Somebody celebrate the God of our Father. Hey. Jesus! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I can feel the excitement in the house. Now I want you to go out there to those on the island. If you know you are happy to be in today's service, Grace Nation, make some noise! We've not got into that level yet. I want us to make noise like Grace Nationite. Now talk to your neighbor. Say neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Are you ready to make some noise? Are you ready to make some noise? Now, neighbor, join me as I walk on the angels of angels, the I am that I am, the lily of the valley, the one true God, the God of Israel, the fair one of Grace Nation, the Elohim, the I am that I am, the one chosen God, Grace Nation, make some noise! And I want us to celebrate one man, one prophet, my father, your father, no other person than Dr. Chris Okafor. Now I'd like you to have your seats in the presence of the Lord. You're welcome to today's Sunday wonderful, glorious service. Please kindly turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor, welcome to church. House of Grace Nation, please, we would like you to go to the church goat office and get yourself registered. Now, this goes to all workers, all members. If you would like to be baptized in the church, please kindly go to the church goat office and get yourself registered. Now, I would also want you to know that if you want to partake in the prayer line section, please kindly go to the information center and get yourself registered. And also, if you would like to register for one-on-one -on -one with our Father in the Lord, please kindly go to the information center and get yourself registered. Now turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, it is the month of the harvest of baby Estra. Now turn to another neighbor. Say, neighbor, it is harvest of baby Estra. Now, this month is our harvest of baby Estra. It's going to start on Wednesday, the 24th by 5 p.m. It's going to start Thursday, the 25th, 7 a.m. Friday, 26, 8 p.m. till you break through. And also Sunday, 28th is our celebration service, 7 a.m. this August 2022. And let's not forget that Sunday, the last month, will be our old school Sunday. Now, old school means we'll be dressed in our old school attire. So if you know you have old school wears, please kindly get them. Sunday is going to be a wonderful and a glorious Sunday. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Now, the church is in need of retired ex-soldiers, military officers, police officers, legion, and etc. The church needs your skill in training our security men. Interested person, please kindly go to the information center and drop your details. And also, if you fall in the category of the law, you fall in the category of the medical departments and the engineering departments, you're also advised, please, to kindly go drop your details at the information center. As you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name. Now, the children's church is in need of teachers. If you're a caregiver and you want to be a teacher in the children's church, please kindly go to the information center and get yourself registered. And also registration for summer coaching at Abba Gray School, one of the best schools in Nigeria, Lagos State, has commenced. And please, summer coaching starts in the month of August. So please, if you would like your children, your words, to also come and enjoy what the children of Abba Gray School are enjoying, please kindly go to Abba Gray School, located at the church premises. Thank you, as you don't do that in Jesus' name. Let's not forget the kingdom expansion is in full force. And also... Who their winner the soul is wise. So we'd like you to talk to somebody and invite someone to church today. And as you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name. Now, please, we would like you to note that there will be an evangelism team going out today. Please, going out tomorrow for us, mass rally. Today, especially, please, if you fall in that category today after the end of service and you would like to join the evangelism team, please, immediately after the church service, they will be waiting for you outside. And also, this goes to the youth. Uh, the youth choir is open now for those who would like to join. Please, after the service, kindly meet the youth coordinator to get yourself registered. 
Uh, if you would like to join the youth choir, please can they meet the coordinator after the service to get yourself registered. Now, I'd like you to turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you know what time it is? It is testimony time. It is testimony time. Now, I want to call on these wonderful, wonderful testifiers as they tell us what the good Lord has done for them. I call on Kenneth Ali. I call on Mrs. Janet. I call on Warba Obina. I call on Joy Senna. I believe it was Jama Heinz faster. They will come out better. I call on Kenneth Ali. I call on Mrs. Janet. I call on Warba Obina. I call on Joy Zena. Please testify us. Please, let's be reminded of our testimony. Let's be Christ centered. And don't forget our call and response. Grace Nation, we are the chosen generation. Grace Nation. We are the chosen generation. Grace Nation. We are the chosen generation. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Father, I want to give the testimony concerning my daughter. Since 2021, I'm supposed to give this testimony. But those that handle the testimony, they say I should not give. But I have the opportunity today to give. I want to testify to the glory of God that my daughter got married and her husband got a job in outside country and they're about to go that time. They went for visa in Abuja. And they said that my daughter will not follow the husband that let her home be pending. Troubled and she felt disappointment. I begin to pray. I say, no, it will not happen like that because I have a place that I'm going. And I have the altar of Grace Nation. Let me go and visit my altar. Actually, I came here. I dropped a seat. Then I began to pray. I say, if God of Dr. Chris Akafo is my daddy indeed, as I pray, let her name come out before the name of her husband that have got the job there. And actually, the God did it. One week interval, her name come out, working permission, resident permission, they gave to her, and they left. I thank God, they are living fine there. And I want to testify the goodness of God again, consign every time that Papa give a prophecy consigning miracle alert, miracle money, I key to it, and God has been doing it for me. God have even one or two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So I want to give God the glory in the name of Jesus. And another one is about on Thursday that we came here. The, the Papa locate my son. From that, he prayed for me and prayed for all of us. I see the sign on Monday after. And as he hold my hand and say, my daughter, come, let me pray for you. That enemy, they are fighting your business. I say, yes. As he hold my hand and pray for me, I went and, and went and sit down. There's one place that is paining me in my stomach for long. If I cannot shout, I cannot run, but I'll be managing with it. If I go to hospital, they will not see anything. But that day, as he shook my hand, I said, okay. As I went and see that it was been paining me, I said, let me lay my hand upon my stomach. And this, my hand is no more my hand. As Papa touched my hand, I turned my hand into the hand of my Papa. As I lay my hand on that, my stomach, from that day to today, the pain has stopped. Praise Brother the Lord. Brother, can only be the God of this nation. Celebrate Jesus! Grace Nation. We are the chosen generation. Grace, Grace Nation. We are the chosen generation. I just want to give te two testimony. I just, first, I want to thank the God of this commission for your building in my life and my family. My testimony goes like this. July 9, I lost my dad in, uh, 
it is still we have a family house in Kedu now. So, but before them, we are always scared to build a house in my grandfather's house because two of his grandson, both especially grandson, two of his grandson that have tried that die mysteriously. Now, my father died July uh, July nine in Kedu now. Now we don't have any family house in the village. So the elders in the village say, okay, let's see where he will come and bury his father. Maybe it's in the bush. And as a first son, everything was on me. But because of where I belong, because of where I belong, I don't need to be scared. Believe in me, before then, I come for a Thursday service. After that Thursday service, I travel to the village. Brother, I started this building in two weeks I was able to complete the building I I never know how it uh, in fact people in the village were how comes this uh, in fact everybody was so surprised including me but I know where I belong because I have all my material with me so I have no I'm not afraid of any evil or, or uh, any demon of my father's house that want to rise against me. So to cut this short, two weeks, I was able to be down that structure. And I ordered from the course of my father from Kaduna. They came from Kaduna, even my mom, everybody came to the village. When they saw the building, everybody was amazed. They even forgot about the husband. He has forgot about the husband that died. All my siblings, they were so excited. We went, they, they, they took his cup to the house, to inside the room. The following day, they buried him in the front of his building. And up to now, I am still healthy. Nothing has happened to me because of where I belong. I want to thank the God of this commission for what he has done. I don't know how the money comes, but I give God the glory. I give God the honor. I thank the God of this commission. Brother, you can only be the God of this commission. Celebrate Jesus! Great nation, we are the chosen generation. Great nation, we are the chosen generation. Before I say something, I will say, I, I say indeed, this author is the arena of solution. So I remember how my life was before I came to this church. And now it's different. So last, that was last week Monday. Me and my wife came for prayer line with Papa. After Papa touched me and touched my wife, we have been healed. For the sickness that has been disturbing me over many years, that sickness is disturbing my right knee joint over many years. After Papa touched me, I have been healed and I have been healed totally. And my wife, and secondly, my wife, she has always had joint pains over many years. Before I know her, she, have, she will always complain about that judgment. After Papa touched her, she has been hit. And she, she hit totally. We say, we say we are standing here to return the glory to the, the God of this great commission. God of my Papa, Dr. Chris Sokafo. May your name be continually exalted in Jesus' name. The God of this commission can do wonders and your testimony and your healing is permanent. Celebrate Jesus! Grace Nation. We are the chosen generation. Grace Nation. We are the chosen generation. I'm happy today to stand in your midst. The God of my papa did it for me. That was last week Sunday. I, I was upstairs. We are, we are praying. Papa was praying. I fell under anointing. And I used my head to hit the pillar in this entrance. And I said to myself, I said, this anointing will not be free. Papa Daniel used to say once, he said, man on a million chabam naya. I just said so. So when I got home, I decided to call my brother's wife. When I called her, she said, can you call my brother? I said, I don't have his number. He said, try and call him. I said, send the number to me. She sent the number, the number, the number, call. 
I called my brother. I said, your wife said I should call your in-law. That I want to call him. He said, I should call him now. So I just said, okay, send your number to Send his number to me. Immediately he sent the number. The number is not complete. So I did not know that in my phone, he record some voices. So the girl, my daughter and I use it and check the voice. And I said, mommy, this is the number. So I was just, I called him. When I called him, he said, hey, I know that you need my help. And I've been owing a one year rent. I've been believing the God of my papa in these midnight prayers that he has been doing because I was not online. But every night I must stood up and start praying. So that's how um, he said, don't worry, I will send your brother to you. It was on Monday morning. I just saw my dog. Come, come, come. I said, who is that? When, when he now entered, he said, ah, Auntie, me, I want to give you something. I said, okay. My, my brother just opened his wallet and brought, brought out exactly that one year. When he gave me the money, I knelt down inside my house. I started shouting. I said, God of my papa, you never sleep. I said, God of Dr. Chris Okafor, you have done it again. And I said again, I said, you will never run your journey halfway. That is how I said it. So I stood up and tell my children, we started singing. I went, I told my boss, I said, this is what is happening. Praise the Lord! Brethren, is indeed the month of the supernatural assistance. And it has been said that the God of our Father will assist us on every side. If you believe that, celebrate Jesus better! Grace Nation, we are the chosen generation. Grace Nation, we are the chosen generation. Uh, it's an honor for me to be on this exalted altar. Before I was introduced to this church, my life was full of disappointment. I've worked with many multinational companies, but nothing to show. I work offshore as a ship security officer. I work with the European Union during the 2011 election. I coordinated the movement of all the observers that came to Nigeria. Nothing to show. I work with poor cement. Nothing to show. Then somebody called me that this thing, this thing is not ordinary. You need to come out of where you stay. I said, where am I coming to? He said, come to Lagos. I said, we are in Lagos. He said, uh, synagogue. I said, I don't like synagogue. He said, okay, come to Lazarus Moaka. I said, my spirit don't accept that. He said, okay, I, there's another man of God. He said, Chris Okafa, I said, I think I key to this. I, I, would, like, I would like to see this man. Yeah. I had it money, and that time there was problem maritally, you know. Uh, my, my wife works with, with, in a very good company. I have only one child. A lot of battles. I came down to Lagos. He mobilized me. I came down to Lagos. Papa met me. That was on the 9th of, 9th of March, 2016. Papa called me. I was with the, with the disengagement letter Boa Cement gave to me. Not in a day, a, a month to the confirmation of my appointment. I restructured Boa Security. It's on record. I'm a retired inspector of corrections. So I, I was, Papa said, go and bring that letter. I ran to the letter. I said, this is not the first, this is not the second, this is not the third. This is the fourth. What did you do? I said, Papa, that is why I am here. He said, powers fighting you. It's a, it's a collective power. Your father raised an altar for you to serve when you were small and you refused. I said, yes, sir. He told me things I don't even know about myself. But he told me, he said, as I lay my hand on you, that ends the, your problem. <laughs> and sincerely, that ended my problem. This is my fifth year. I work with a telecom service provider. I, I am the regional security manager in the, south, in the southwest. I was in the southeast before I came down here. 
Though there have been challenges, people have been trying, but God stood for me. On the, on the first of March, I met one on one with unknown gunmen. That day was something else. But I told God, I said, You have been guiding me. I have never had an accident before. I have a driver. I, I don't drive. I have a driver. I, said, I told the guy, Look, obey all the traffic rules. I don't want a problem with anybody. He said, Okay. When we made these people, only their sight, seeing them, you will melt. I was looking at me, looking at death, looking at everything. But I said, I know where I belong. Papa, Papa, the red muffler, is, I spread it on, in front of my dashboard. I put it, and I, I always wear this. So when, they, when I knew it was a non government, they said, pack, don't come down, don't make up, don't run. Huh? I told my driver, we don't enter. I said, I said, but nothing is going to happen to us. I now raised my hand, hold it like this. They came and they looked inside my vehicle. My laptop was there, my phone was there. They looked inside the vehicle. They, they were just, uh, which kind of human being is it? They, <laughs> my brethren, it was a miracle. They finished, one became my, my escort. One, one stood by me, said, nothing will happen to you, sir. Nothing will happen to you. I said, I said my father said it. I am too anointed to be wasted. <laughs> I, the testimonies are much. My wife went for, and my daughter, they went for a visa interview. They, I, I only signed the consent. I said, Go, go with my daughter. With what is happening in this country? Go. In 2018, they were they are based in the U.S. now, resident now. Then the last one on the on the 31st of March, I came from Oka with other church members. We came for something to meet Papa. Then Papa was prophesying to somebody that he is taking medication. I said, ah, Papa, you know they see me say I take medication. <laughs> Immediately I said so, in my mind, Papa said, you, come, you have the same problem. I said, this, uh, he is the oracle of God. He told me that two things will happen. This, the, the, why I am taking medication will disappear. And again, there's money that was coming on my way. I claimed it. He said, you know about it. I said, yes, I know about it. You understand? So, brethren, on the, on the 11th, that was on Thursday last week, I received that money. So the prophecy of Papa have come to pass. I want to return all the glory to God for all he has done for me and my family. Amen. Brethren is indeed the month of the supernatural assistance. And God has promised us that you will assist us on every side. If you believe that, celebrate Jesus better! Now please, if you have a testimony offering, we would like you to dip your hands into your pockets. And please, we will bring us a testimony money offering our father in heaven we thank you for these wonderful testimonies and we say that this testimony will permanent in jesus name as we go to the altar we also key in and we will be testifiers also in jesus name praise team
Papa comes in. I came to introduce to you this everyone. That is standing against me. Oh Lord, this morning. Oh Lord, this morning. Expose them. Expose them. Pray that prayer. Si patarande se para, rade se ke parande sa para, ropo sa karanda la bosia, se le gade bose patarato, rada de bala y madana bose ka parande, ropo sa parati, reka de bala y bala y gada, sa tuferente se presa payada. Struggling, and I see the angels of my father commanding them, and those garments were removed from them. Amen. I don't, I don't know the garment you're wearing. Uh -huh. It might be an ancestral garment of poverty, uh -huh. hardship, barrenness, delay, disappointment this morning. That garment will be removed. Amen. It's not a physical garment, it's a spiritual one. Uh-huh. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Every garment. Every garment. Old garment. Old garment. Ancient garment. Ancient garment. Ancestral garment. Ancestral garment. That I'm wearing spiritually. That I'm wearing spiritually. That is blocking. That is blocking. The physical garment. A physical garment. Of favor in my life. Of favor in my life. To manifest. Manifest. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Take away that garment. Take away that garment. Pray that prayer. Saparatoto. Zelegadabelegadabosa. Zika parato sakoto. Zelegadabosi kaparati sakoto. Zelegadabelegurubusi kaparato. Zelegadabusa kata. Every garment. Every demonic garment. That the enemy put on me. Garment of bodiness. Garment of poverty. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let the God of this commission remove that garment. Let that garment catch fire. Let that demonic garment, let it catch fire. Right now, let that demonic garment, let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Every garment that the enemy put on me, 
every demonic garment that the enemy put on me, garment of poverty, garment of barrenness, garment of rights and poor. Oh God, of my father, Dr. Prince of Purple, let that garment catch fire. Let that garment catch fire. God said to Abraham uh -huh. in Genesis 12 from verse 1 he said Abraham if I must bless you if you must walk with me you need to come up to the land of your father's house the land of the Chaldeans where they worship idol it is a hindrance to you because God said, I am a jealous God. You can't serve two God. You can't serve God and serve mammon. Yes, it's sir. not possible. Now, looking at that place critically, it's not that God asked Abraham to come out from his father's house. I have a family. Uh -huh. I came out from somewhere. I have a father and I have a mother. I cannot, no matter how my family looked like, no matter the wickedness in the family, I still love my family. There is no way you can pack out and wake up one morning and say, I'm leaving my family. Where will you go to? That is your root. What God was trying to tell Abraham is, come out from the old ways. From the idolatry. What they worshipped many years in that family. Don't partake of it come out from it change your life uh -huh. change the old remove the old garment put on a new garment if you read the book of Zechariah 3 there is a man there in the name of Joshua the high priest but he was wearing a filthy garment you need to come out from the old ways it's not about Abraham go out God will not drive somebody away from his family because God is a God of generation Okay. One. Hey, God bless you. God bless you, every one of you at Grace Nation. Praise God. And uh, I don't think I sign me in. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I bring greetings to every one of you. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Happy to see you all today. Happy to see you all today. May the Lord bless, the God has had blessed and honor every one of you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, well, life, this screen should also be on for me to see.
Time is gone. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you are hearing me, stand up and shout hallelujah. Amen. What a mighty thing we serve. I bring greetings to you all the way from London, United Kingdom. God is faithful. Uh, I'm not able to... Be with you all today. But I'm with you in the spirit and virtually I'm seeing all of you also. God bless you all in Jesus name. So, very quickly, a season of testimony. Remember, we are still in our month of supernatural assistance. So, get ready this week. You will be assisted by angels. Amen. I said you will be assisted by angels. Amen. In your business, in your finances. Amen. In every battle you've been going through. Amen. You will be supernaturally assisted in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I want you to give three persons high five. Tell them my season and my week has come. <laughs> so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, quickly be seated. I want to I want to speak to you in the next few minutes. Then I will I will hand over to Pastor Sylvester. Please be seated. God bless you. Take your Bible. I want to speak to you briefly on the subject a title Divine Assistant. Or if you like, you can call it supernatural assistant. Psalm one, Psalm one hundred and I mean, Psalm one two one verse one. David said the other day, "I will look up to the hill from where comes my help." My hair coming from the maker of heaven and uh, heaven and earth. Now I want to add this story. Blessed is he, blessed is the man, blessed is the woman, blessed is the person, blessed is the family whose head comes from above. Amen. If your expectation, your head is from above, that's to say you are blessed amen what does it mean to be supernaturally assisted let's take a look very quickly into the ministry of our lord and savior jesus christ If you look at the ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ critically, you will understand that Jesus, even our Lord and Savior, survived I mean, his ministry. You know, he was able to carry out his divine assignment on the basis of the help he received from above. It came as a result of help from above. It came as a result of help from above. I say help is coming to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Help is coming for, help is coming to your finances. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we saw for 30 years, according to Luke chapter 2, for for 30 good years. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ 